Hey there, it's Elizabeth O'Brien from Grammar Revolution, where we help you teach and learn grammar the easy way with sentence diagrams. And today we are going to be talking about dangling participles. Have you heard of these before? Let's figure out what they are. Okay, before we talk about dangling participles, we need to review what participles are. Otherwise, dangling participles are not going to make sense. Participles are a type of verbal. That means that they're formed from verbs, but they don't function as verbs. They function as other parts of speech. And participles function as adjectives. Let's look at some examples. The filtered water tastes delicious. Filtered is a participle. It's formed from the verb filter, but it's not acting as a verb. It's acting as an adjective modifying the noun water. Here is a sentence diagram of the filtered water tastes delicious. And the word filtered, you can see, is coming off of the word water. This helps us see that filtered is modifying water. Let's look at one more example of a participle. Look at the shooting star. Shooting is a participle. It's formed from the verb shoot, and it's not acting as a verb. It's acting as an adjective modifying the noun star. Now, often when we use participles, we add extra words to them. And when we do this, all of the words function together as something called a participial phrase. Let's check out what these things are. Stars shooting across the sky are beautiful. Notice we still have that participle, shooting, but now we have some more words with it, across the sky. All of those words together, shooting across the sky, are coming together to function as an adjective, we call it a participial phrase, modifying the noun stars. Now, let's get to the reason that you're watching this video. It's because you're trying to learn what a dangling participle is. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell which noun a participial phrase is modifying. And in fact, the noun that it's intended to modify may not even be stated in the sentence. That is not a good thing. When this happens, it is called a dangling participle because it just dangles there in the sentence with nothing to modify. Let's check out an example. Sitting on the park bench, the sun disappeared behind the clouds. Sitting on the park bench is a dangling participle. Where's the noun that sitting on the park bench modifies? It's not there. It's not modifying sun. It's not modifying clouds. In fact, the noun that it's modifying isn't even in the sentence. So that poor participial phrase is just dangling there with nothing to modify. To fix participles that dangle, you need to make sure the words that they modify are in the sentence, and then you need to make sure that they're modifying the word that you want them to modify. Here's one way you could fix that sentence. Sitting on the park bench, I watched the sun disappear behind the clouds. Now that sentence works because sitting on the park bench is modifying I. It has something to modify. When participial phrases modify nouns other than the ones that they're intended to modify, it is a mistake called a misplaced modifier. Now that makes sense because it's a modifier. An adjective is a word that modifies things and it's in the wrong place. And one great thing about misplaced modifiers is that they're usually pretty funny. Here's an example. Covered in mustard and relish, I enjoyed the hot dog. Now, covered in mustard and relish is a participial phrase, and we would call it a misplaced modifier. Here's one way we could fix that sentence. I enjoyed the hot dog covered in mustard and relish. Now, covered in mustard and relish is modifying the noun hot dog, instead of the pronoun I. Okay, I hope this video helped you understand daily participles and also misplaced modifiers. If you would like to learn more about teaching or learning grammar the easy way with sentence diagrams, you can check out grammarrevolution.com and our Get Smart Grammar program. In that program, I teach you about grammar and sentence diagrams in little video lessons, kind of like this. All right, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.